Welcome back to the Pat Long Codes YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at uh, some simple usage of the Python Beautiful Soup Library and how we can scrape data from a website and then uh, convert it into a usable uh, Pandas data frame for further processing. So I'm going to be using a uh, Jupyter Notebook inside Google Colab and we're going to get my data from the archives.gov uh, website and it's going to be the distribution of US uh, electoral college votes. Um, so if, generally if you're going to be doing something with beautiful soup it's a good idea to look at the page source. Um, and so I'm looking for the table element um, and uh, inside that, I'm going to be looking at the, uh, you know, the P uh, tag here with the, uh, as an example, the Alabama nine votes. So I'm going to want to convert this using Beautiful Soup eventually to a uh, Python data frame um, where it says, you know, Alabama in one column and nine votes in another column and so on for the um, uh, 50 states and District of Columbia. So here I'm just importing the libraries I'm using, Pandas and Beautiful Soup, basically. Um, here I'm going to copy and paste the uh, URL. And then I'm going to uh, use an HTML uh, parser in uh, Beautiful Soup. And yeah, now I'm going to use the find all um, method to, uh, not that find, yeah, this this is uh, the find all method that I'm using to uh, find all table elements um, in that URL. Just, and you know, you, I kind of know this based on looking at the, uh, you know, the, the tables where I looked at the uh, source. And so those are the two table tags. Um, and so, yeah, I'm going to make a, a little list that you'll see the use of here in a minute. Um, and so once I go through each table, although, you know, there's really only one, I'm going to uh, take the... Um, the p tag. Um, so again, I'm going to use the find all method and just do exactly what I did with the tables. And then um, you know, it's from the p tag, I'm then going to separate the uh, um, data using the split method. Um, but but you know, before I actually put it into a data frame, I'm just going to test what I'm doing. I see if you see the minus uh, sign between the state and the votes, I'm going to split based on that. And uh, here I'm taking the zero index first part, Alabama, and uh, that's going to be one column of my data frame. And then in the other one, I'm going to take the nine votes. I guess I could have you know, made it where it was just the number and taken the votes out, but... Um, so here I'm just using the uh, built-in print function in Python to test that what I'm trying to do is going to work. And uh, it looks good. So moving on. I'll just leave that um, print statement in my code, which is also linked in the description below uh, for your reference. And now the uh, list I created is going to come into play. I'm going to, uh, as I loop through, I'm going to append um, these two into the list. And yep. And now I'm just going to uh, take that list um, and put it into a uh, 
two column data frame that I'm gonna um, call state and um, votes will be the second column. And now let's take a go ahead and take a look at what this data frame looks like. Uh, and looks good. So this is exactly what we wanted. That's our end result. So there in a nutshell is how you could go from taking a HTML table um, and converting it into a uh, usable uh, data frame using uh, the uh, Python Beautiful Soup library. So again, here's the source code that I went from. And uh, as an example, the Alabama one. And here we are with our final data frame. So yeah, thanks for joining me for this introduction to um, the beautiful soup library. Um, again, I plan to make subsequent videos. All the code used in this video is linked in the description below. And uh, yeah, feel free to like this video if you found it useful uh, or carry on any discussion through questions in the comments below. And stay tuned for the next video.